the level of bone. Hi, welcome back to the Spanless Gamer, where I'm playing NES games in the order they came out in, and today we're playing four games for the NES. We're playing Robocop, Robo Demons, Shadowgate, and Short Order Plus Explode. And our first game today is Robocop, which came out in 1989. And the box art is Robocop. How about that? Robocop, part man, part machine, all game. Robert Cop, the future of law enforcement. A sadistic crime wave is sweeping through old Detroit. The situation is explosive, in fact. It is so bad, a private corporation, OCP, has assumed control of the police force. Then, a research team creates an unstoppable, indestructible law enforcement cyborg named Robocop. Using a wide assortment of weapons, including Robocop Special Issue Auto 9, you must stop every sleazeball criminal you encounter with deadly piercing accuracy. But beware, there are forces on the street and within the OCP that will stop at nothing to see Robocop eliminated. Make your way past six levels of Street Thubs, Bodiker, and a powerful Ed 209 to your final battle with Dick Jones. Prepare yourself for non-stop action in one of the most explosive games you will ever play. It's going to take more than a cop to clean up the scum of old, Detro old Detroit. It's going to take Robocop. Your move, creep. Cool. This isn't one of those, like, R-rated movies that got turned into a game. This is back when games were for kids. I mean, adults played, I'm sure. But, I mean, games generally were thought of as a kid's genre. And the NES especially, like, I don't get these rated R movies that were uh, put on the NES. Rest mode, 2nd Street, Nash. Okay. I can punch. Pause. Can I shoot? He is a robot. He is a cop. He is a robo cop. I mean, it says weapon and it shows a gun. Oh, gotta get the P. He is a robot, he is a cop, he is a robo-cop. Alright. Go down, how do you go down? Go down the ladder. Go, go, go down, oh, go down the ladder. There you go. Stairs anyway, not a ladder. The weakness of robots. Oh, now I get the gun. Now you decided the situation is dangerous enough for a gun? I don't want to kill dogs. They leave me no choice. Sorry, Cooper. Cooper, I'm sorry that I'm killed. What are you doing? Okay, dog. Okay, so. It's a robot. Yeah, I get it. Get the pepper! Get the pepper! Well, if that guy's gonna just keep on going, so am I. Oh, it's the Data East store. How about that? guy's too strong for me. Locking does nothing. And Robocop is dead. The movie ended. So graphics. Yeah, because they're pretty good. We'll give those a, a seven and a half. Sound is decent. We'll give that a seven. Music. Music is good. I'll give it an eight. It's got the Robocop music there. Uh, maybe not an eight. Seven and a half. Story. Um... Yeah, two and a half controls. Controls are a little weird, especially with the shooting, because you shoot in different directions. And it's kind of hard to aim. Um, we'll give those a four and a half funness. 
a five does hold my attention, a four, and overall Robocop is going to get a five and a half on the NES. And let's move on to the next game. Our next game today is Robo Dream, sorry, Robo Demons by Color Dreams. Uh, this came out in 1989, and the box art just has, I guess that's supposed to be you, the hero, with a boomerang and a suit fighting an octopus of some sort and silver people, I don't know. And Color Dreams later um, made bible games. Robo Demons, a splendid adventure of terror, struggle, and danger. The evil demon King Cull has created a machine to transplant the souls of demons into the body of machines. That sounds like a good idea. With his army of Robo Demons, he has cast a dark shadow over the region of Earth. The region of Earth. Huh, I wonder what the region of Earth is. You are a great warrior armed with your magical boomerang. With it, you must penetrate the seven gates of Hades to lead you to confrontation with this demon king. Along the way, you'll free the condemned soul captives of Cole, wipe out his demons in their own living quarters, and destroy his robo-demon machine, like the plot of Doom. Seven worlds of superior graphics, designed and programmed in the USA! Yeah! Robo Dreams. Let's play it. Demon Cole's challenge awaits you. Robo Demon. Oh. Okay. Ah! text. In dark times, the demon Cole, king of the netherworld of Hades, Janet created... Okay, defeat death to enter Hades. Isn't that where he lives? It's a cra really crappy s space shooter. Oh my. The bonuses are smiley bases? Who gave Color Dreams the right? The ability to make games. I want to take their development kit away from them. The level of bone. Yeah, it is. Oh, now I'm walking. Ah! Ah! Nice synthesized speech. It's not the worst game I've ever played. Uh. The Town of Bone. You're boned. Uh. Also not the best game I've ever played. Graphics. Uh, a three and a half. Sound. Got synthesized speech in there. I give them credit for that. We're going to give them a six for the sound. Music, it had some. We'll give it a six. Yeah, not quite so. Five and a half story. Um, that's an original story, I guess. Uh, six and a half controls. Uh, a three, funness. A two, does it hold my attention? A two, and overall, Robo Demons from Color Dreams gets a two and a half. Uh, let's move on to the next game. Our next game today is Shadowgate for the NES, which came out in 1989. And the box art here is uh, just kind of got a gargoyle who's maybe coming to life or something. Back of the box, Shadowgate, developed by Icom Simulations. A hidden key unlocks an ancient castle's door as it creaks open on rusted hinges. A whisper of dank, stale wind delivers this chilly warning. Danger awaits you. Yet, is that the warning? Just danger awaits you. Yet within these dark and ominous walls lies your quest. Welcome to Castle Shadowgate. Your destiny as the last great line of hero kings is to terminate the uh, diabolical warlock lord before his dreaded black magic unleashes the hidden behemoth that destroys the world. With a strong heart and shining armor, you carefully choose your path of travel throughout the castle's sinister grounds. Along the way, you'll discover strange and wonderful objects. Some things may be useful on your journey. Others may be deadly to the touch. Three-dimensional images, surpassed graphic, uh, unsurpassed graphics, and special sound effects unfold as you venture through these grave ruins. But beware, your next move could be your last. Using screens of graphics like those in the best interactive PC games, Shadowgate is the most challenging participatory adventure you'll ever experience on the Nintendo Entertainment System. Shadowgate, enter if you dare. Um, this is a port of a Mac Venture, uh, Apple Macintosh game, point and click adventure. So let's get into the game. Chemco presents 
I played the crap out of Shadowgate, and in fact this is the only game when I was a kid that I actually called the Nintendo Helpline to get me past one part I was stuck in. Uh, probably not going to play too much of it here. The last thing you remember is standing before the wizard Lachmere as he waved his hands. Now you find yourself staring at the entryway which lies at the edge of the forest. The druid's words ring in your ears. Within the castle Shadowgate lies your quest. The dreaded warlock lord will use his black magic to raise Behemoth from the dark depths. The combination of his evil arts and the great titan's power will surely destroy us all. You are the last of the line of kings, the seed of prophecy that was foretold eons ago. Only you can stop the evil one from darkening our world forever. Fare thee well. Gritting your teeth, you swear by God, your god's name that you will destroy the warlock lord. Great. Okay. So. Up here in the little window is what you're looking at, and you can point and click at things as if by magic the skull rises. So, you gotta go down here and say take, and then you can go up here and take the key. Look at that. You can't take it. Okay, so yeah, you gotta... Uh, okay. Open. The door is open. The door leading to Castle of Shadowgate. You can move into the room. Eyes look at you, that pitiful wizard that can hear was a fool to send a buffoon like you to stop me. You will surely regret it for only thing here is for you is a horrible death. The sound of mechanical laughter echoes in your ear. Ha ha ha. I got to take, I'm gonna take these torches and learn to fly. Okay. Now check this out. Watch this trick I remember. So I'm going to use the torch on the carpet. The rug quickly catches fire and burns away. Ha ha! Take that rug. Not really a trick, just kind of something you do. The door is locked. Uh, yeah, I wish there was like shortcuts. Use key on door. Door doesn't fit in that. Okay. Fine. Fine. Oh. Try that again. Use. So this game is fun. Controls are clunky. Uh, a PC version would be probably more fun to play. Or I think they re-released this on the iPad, maybe. Stonewall is seeming comfortable. Okay. If you take that book, you'll die, just so you know. here and hit it. Pow. Aha, secret passage. Okay. Uh, arrows. Can't take it. It's too tall. on the torch. Oh, torch is wet and won't burn. Fine then. Yep. Move it this way. Alright, so we can go through different doors. You have to open the door before you do it. Yeah, we opened all the doors. You happy now? You happy now, game? Okay. Uh, I can play this for a while. So I'm not going to play more of this just because it's, you know, maybe I'll do a full walkthrough on the second channel I'm starting. Uh, so graphics for this, uh, you know, it's mostly text. It's a little window, but the graphics that are there are well done. Five. Uh, sound. I like the sound design. With little sound there is six. Music is excellent. We'll give that a nine. Story is good. Eight. And controls. If only there was a mouse. Controls four. 
funness. Uh, if you like kind of puzzle solving point click adventures, it's pretty good. Even if it's dated, does it hold my attention? Yes, and overall Shadowgate is going to get a seven uh, and a half. That was Shadowgate. Let's move on to the next game. All right, our final game today is apparently two games in one. It's Short Order and Explode. Explode came out in 1989. And the box art uh, short order on the left there was some burgers and Explode with some chicken. Two games for the family fun. Power pad required. Well, this will be short. What if I want to play the other one? <laughs> Apparently I can't do anything but this. I can only look at the title screen. It's cute, they're fighting over what game gets to have the logo on there. Alright, well, we've seen everything this game has to offer, so let's rate it. So, graphics, um, the logos were good. Uh, we'll give that a, a, a four and a half. Sound, sound I'm sure was fine. Music, uh, there was music there. We'll give that a five. I mean, the, the music in the title screen wasn't bad. Story, probably not much there. Zero. Controls, it's a power pad game. I'm sure the controls are wonderful. One, funness, um, guessing, power pad game, not very memorable, probably about a two, doesn't hold my attention, no. And overall, Explode is going to get a two, uh, short order plus Explode. Please like, subscribe, and check me out on Patreon, and we'll see you next game.